Well, the Miss USA competition is right around the corner, and we're here with the reigning Miss USA, Sarah Rose Hello. Summers, to learn more about the upcoming competition. We are getting ready to head to Reno, Nevada to crown your successor. I Can am. you believe that it has almost been a year since this moment right here? Absolutely not. <laughs> Time has flown by. It's just so surreal to me that I've done as many things as I have. The other day I was having to write, you know, my farewell, goodbye letter for the program book and I was scrolling through the pictures in my phone and the videos and I was like, oh yeah, that happened too and oh no, that too. And so it's just been fantastic. So this year's Miss Nebraska, yes. do you know, is this like a relative or your friend? No, no, you <laughs> no. don't know her personally. Don't know her personally. I met her at Miss Nebraska USA because I had flown back home to support my home state pageant and um, that was right around when I returned back from Bangkok, Thailand. And so I was just so excited to be home and cheer them on. But it was her first ever pageant competing wow. in Nebraska, USA, and wow. she won. So I'm really excited for her. I think that's amazing because it just gives that authenticity and the raw person that she is. And she's great. What other activities are you going to be taking part in out in Reno when you're Ooh. out there? I hope lots of fun activities because I don't know that Miss USA has ever been hosted somewhere where there's snow-covered mountaintops. And <laughs> so I was just so excited. I want to go skiing. I'm not a liability. You know, I'm not competing. So I don't have to be able to walk like that. <laughs> so I can go you skiing. You can have fun. We'll be fine. Yeah. So I'm just excited to explore. I have family coming and I know tickets started going on sale already and they're already selling out super quick so I know lots of girls have family and friends coming and they'll be able to explore all that Reno Tahoe has to offer. Oh and you're going to be able to have a great deal of fun. I'm We're excited. excited for you. You're leaving soon but the good news is she is going to stick around with us for a little bit longer and tell us all about what the pasture has been like for her as Miss USA. Absolutely. So thanks for chatting with us and we're going to chat with you more. Thank Sarah you. Rose. Stick around. We'll be right back here on Celebrity Page TV. here in the Celebrity Page Loft talking with Miss USA Sarah Rose Summers. Now earlier we talked about the upcoming Miss USA pageant that's taking place in Reno, Nevada on May 2nd. Now we want to take a look at what this past year has been like for you because you got engaged. It's been non-stop <laughs> adventures. How do you top this year? I don't know, but I, I keep telling myself only uphill from now. You know, I'm only 24 years old and so I have a whole life ahead of me still. And of course this was a year, it was just a dream come true that I had really even never dreamt. What emotions are are you feeling as your reign nears an end? It's a little bit bittersweet. You know, I'm excited for the next girl. I've I've gotten really close to a lot of the former Miss USA's, you know, Mia Sanchez, Kristen Dalton, Shauna Barber. They've all been a great resource. They started a journal, and each one of them journaled in it. You know, these are my favorite events. These were my not so favorite events. Call me at this number if you need me. And so I'm excited to journal in that sometime this week before I crown the next one. Ooh, can you give us a little hint as to what will go in that journal? I mean, some of your favorite moments of or course, not absolutely. so favorite, maybe early wake up calls. I don't know. <laughs> absolutely. So my one of my most favorite perspective altering events was when I visited Mexico City with Smile Train. It's an amazing organization. And I saw healthcare abroad for the first time. And I worked in children's hospitals prior to becoming Miss USA. And so that was just really eye opening to me. And I really appreciated having that experience. But then another really fun one that I love to reminisce on is when I was a guest correspondent right here at Celebrity Page at Miami Swim Week, and that was an absolute blast. I had so much fun. I'd never been to Miami, and I had the opportunity to be behind a camera and try to be try to be a little bit like you. Well, maybe you should try to be a little more <laughs> here more often. I mean, you're going to have some extra time, maybe. So what's next for you? You've done a lot with children's health care. Absolutely. You think maybe the hosting, mm -hmm. and I'm very very interested in stepping into the hosting realm. We'll see how that goes. But right now, things that are certain are, yes, I'm getting married. I'm launching a women empowerment jewelry line, and I am launching a podcast. I'm going to be interviewing lots of people that have been influential in my life so that then they can use their words, words of wisdom for my listeners. Catch the two-hour-long Miss USA competition May 2nd on Fox. Thank you, Sarah Rose. Thank you.